Hey guys, as a follow-up or a companion to my installing R and R Studio videos and updating R and R Studio videos, I wanted to do a video on packages, specifically on installing and updating packages. But we'll talk packages a little bit and describe what they are and how they're used. Then we'll go through a couple different ways that you can install packages, a way to update packages, we'll look at troubleshooting some packages and uh, we'll look at how to install some older versions of packages if necessary. Sometimes that may be the case for some code you're trying to use or even a package that's been uh, removed from one of the repositories. So we'll take a look at those. And uh, before we do that, I want to ask you guys to just take a minute, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. So that'll help the channel out. And uh, let's go ahead and get into packages. So packages are groups of functions that make writing your code easier. Other people have gone through, written um, some functions for a long string of commands, which now you can use just using one of their function names. It's a very quick way to write your code. And we've got to thank all the people out there who are putting packages available on the uh, CRAN network. And they're all free. There's something like 25,000 packages available, and you're almost always able to find something that will help you write your code a little bit more cleanly. So let's go ahead and get right into installing packages. Right now I'm in the console pane of RStudio here, and I'm going to install the GT package. The GT package is a table package that I like. It makes some really nice looking tables. Uh, there's other great table packages out there, but GT works very well for me. So there's, of course, there's always more than one way we can do things in R. So we can use this code here, install packages. You can see the predictive text has already popped it up. I can click enter. And I want the GT package. Now the thing with using code, you have to know the exact name of the package. Going to hit enter this is going to go out to cran it's going to get the package and it's going to install it it's probably a little bit of a shortcut of mine i've already got that package loaded that's an easy way to install using your code but there's also this packages tab in the bottom right pane of our studio and in here we can see all the packages that are already loaded gt was already loaded in mine but we can install from here as well. We have this install button, which gives us this pop-up window. You can see it's going to install from the CRAN repository. You can install from packages. We're just gonna leave it on the CRAN repository for now. So here we can see a field for the package name and we can enter multiple packages. So we can install multiple packages at once using uh, this wizard. You can do it in code as well. But this is an easy way to do it. And the nice thing about this wizard is as you start typing, it's going to start giving you the package names. So we have one. There's GT. It's already the first option. We can select that. Uh, this is the default library, so it will install into the user library over here on the right. And we want to install dependencies most times. There may be occasions you don't want the dependencies installed, um, but if you don't have the dependencies installed, then the package may not work correctly. So just keep that in mind when going to install. We'll just click the install button. We're gonna see the exact same code that we did. It uses the same install.packages function, puts in the GT, and we install it there. So it's a great way to install packages, especially for beginners. It's very easy, and if you don't know the name of the package, Let's see. Let's try another one. There's a bunch that are tidy, tidy verse, uh, how about tidy geocoder. So it pops up so you get the exact spelling so you know you're getting the, the right package. So I like installing packages this way because once they're installed, you really don't have to do it again. But packages get updated by the package retainers. So we need to maintainers rather, not retainers. The maintainers will change some code as uh, RStudio 
does update. Sometimes the packages need to be updated to continue working with uh, the new updates. So they will update those packages and we need to update those packages as well. Again, easiest way to do this, is go to the packages tab. We click the update button and we can see all of these packages have updated versions that I don't have installed yet. We've got a bunch of them in here. You can select just the ones that you want to update or we can do select all. And there is a news icon along the right side. If you click that news, it will take you to their web page and you can see information about the version if you so desire want to check out what's been changed in that package. I'm just going to go ahead and select all and click install updates. It's going to ask me if I want to restart R prior to install and that's fine. Either way generally works. I generally go ahead and install it. Once it's done, it's going to ask it again sometimes. I'm just going to click no. And you can see it's installing those packages. It's running through the code to download the package updates from CRAN. See all the zip files are being downloaded. Once that is done, it will begin installing those packages. We'll just wait here a minute. You can see it's still running when this stop sign is up here. Okay, now you can see that that stop sign is gone, which means it's done running through all that process and we have our carrot down here in the console. So we know that it's finished. Our packages have been updated. We can click the update again just to check. Looks like there are a couple that didn't get completed. We can select all again and install those. This time we'll just say no. See if it can get those installed. Looks like it got those installed. So we are all set. Now in the packages tab, we can always see what packages we have installed and what version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the GT package since I was speaking about that earlier. And we can just type into the search GT. Here's the GT. Again, there's a, a link to their website so we can see the GT package, uh, articles regarding it, usage on it, links to the CRAN, etc. It's a quick way to get help on particular packages. It's not always available for every package. Sometimes it'll just take you to a GitHub page or to CRAN, but it is good to check there first and we can see what version we're currently running so let's take a look at the gt package in the source pane i already have some code for gt open now this is a little bit older code from several versions back um, but it's a good example to see how some changes may affect your code so I'm just going to go ahead and run this bit of code. It just builds a, a table of, of sales information and uh, we'll get some warnings in the console after we run this. Oh, sorry, we restarted R. That's a good thing to, to know, right? So let's, we're going to library tidyverse. We need to library GT. Now let's try running that. Now, so it ran the, the table, built our table on the right side. We don't want to worry about that. For now, what we want to look at are these warning messages in the console. It says this code VARS has been deprecated. So I've got these function names here, vars, well, they've quit using that. The code still works with it, but it's been deprecating, meaning they're phasing it out and they want you to use, and they tell you, use columns equals C instead. So we want to replace vars with C. Quick way to do that is look up vars, replace with C, replace all. It tells us there were four occurrences Now we can run that again. We shouldn't get those warning messages. Oh, no warning messages coming up, but I want you to 
want you to see that there's this summary rows, but we don't have any summary rows on here because they've changed that code now as well. I'm not going to get into how to fix that, but that is something you might want to do after you've updated packages is check your code, make sure everything is still working correctly. And that's when you would go to the packages, go to their link and see what, what's working or what has changed. Now, if you find that something's changed too much and you need an older version, well, we can go to the link here. We can go to CRAN. We can view the package on CRAN. And what we want to look at are the, these old sources. It's the archive of that package. And we have these tar.gz files. In uh, this one, the most recent version is the last version. It's not the current version. It's the most recent version that's been archived. So if we need to go back to that, we can click on that. We save it. We'll just save it to our downloads folder. Save. We can go back to our studio. When we click install, now is when we would want to select a package archive file. And we can download go to that downloads folder, there's that tar package, and install. Of course, it won't do it now because I've got GT library and it's in use, but I don't want the older version anyhow. But it will just install it just like it did for all the updates. It will install that archive version. You just need to make sure that you would restart R and try to install the archive version that way, and it should work fine for you. Now, the other time you may need to do something like that is if the package has been completely removed from CRAN. For example, there's a package called Census XY, which has been archived on CRAN. And you see that package doesn't show up here anymore. Let's cancel that. And you can see the package exists. I already have it loaded in my user library. So if we could go to CRAN again, go to the archives for the census XY package and load it that way. That's about it for installing and updating packages. Just be sure to go ahead and uh, check for your updates on a regular basis and be sure to check your code after you update. That's one of the most important things uh, because sometimes it does change and you get unexpected results. So just be sure to, to save and test and go from there. I hope that was informative for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll be sure to try to answer your questions. If you have any ideas for future videos, go ahead and put those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. And again, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button.